Okay, so here we go with Bandit level 5 to level 6. Um, we have a level goal that the password to the next level is stored in a file somewhere under the in here directory and has all of the following properties. It's human readable, it's 1033 bytes in size, and it's non executable. Um, it's same commands as always so far. So we've got a little bit more going on now. It's getting a little bit more complicated and probably will require some different commands in this level. So let's first of all have a little look and see what we've got here. So yeah, so we're confronted with a ton of different directories. Um, I can tell the directories again by the color, but I can also show by just saying maybe here zero zero and showing you that that's a directory. So let's just have a little look inside one of these directories. Yeah, so we're gonna, we've just got random files right inside these directories. Um, and if I go back up one by cd'ing dot dot to go up, it's obviously going to be far too laborious to try and go through all of these and try and find a file that fits all of these um, specifications. So we're going to have to use a command and the command that jumps straight out and looks most suitable is find, right? Just by the name of it. So we're going to want to look up the man pages of find. And when we do, we get find. Um, searches for files in a directory hierarchy. In a directory hierarchy. Ugh. In a directory hierarchy. There we are. Um, and it's got this description. It's got the synopsis um, with some flags, which we don't need to put in, and then a starting point um, and an expression. So these are optional, and the starting point we're gonna we're gonna want to put. Um, and if no starting point is, is specified, then then uh, dot, which is this directory, is assumed. So actually, we're going to be searching from this directory, so we don't really even need to put a starting point. But we do want to search find for files with these specific uh, properties, right? And, you know, 1033 bytes in size. Now, that seems like a property that we're going to be able to search for using a command. So what I would do is just look through this man page until we find something that's sort of um, either says non-executable, human readable, or a thousand, or something to do with size and bytes and things like this. Um, so I would properly scan because there's lots of pages here, and there's so many different things we can do with the find command. And so we just want to scan through really quickly and see if we can see anything that talks about size, bytes, human readable, anything like that. So depth, max depth, no leaf. Version, you know, and if this was another command, maybe we'd have to like, maybe we wouldn't see anything, and then we'd have to go over a little bit more carefully. But for now, so the name, we can put a file name, but we don't obviously have that. A group, path, readable. Ah, okay. So readable, but that's to do with permissions, right? This isn't human readable, okay? Um, and I'll, I'll talk a bit about permissions in a minute. Um, the reason, obviously, I know it's about permissions is because of what it's saying in here. So we won't we won't look at that, but we can see size here, um, and it, it specifies if we use this flag, which is dash size. It's a file uses n units of space rounding up. The following suffixes can be used, and it gives us these suffix suffixes. We've got B for 512 byte blocks, C for bytes. So I'm just going to stop right there because C is obviously the one we want. We want to do 1033 bytes. So our command is going to have a flag of size 1033C. And I think we should just try that. So we want to find and we want to use the size 1033C. We don't have to put anything else because it knows the starting point by default it's going to be this directory and what find does is it goes through every directory underneath the starting point looking for the properties or the name whatever you've specified in the command so we're going to try this and see what it finds so 
brilliant it finds one file which is like very great right because it's probably going to be the, the only file there that fits the criteria so it's going to be the one with the password in it um, but let's go there and see the other properties and just explain them as well just for clarity's sake so we want to go to maybe hero 7 I used tab tab completion just then um, and as you can see as well this dot here means that this file 2 is actually hidden so even now we're, you know, we're in the maybe here 07 folder we can't actually see dot file 2 unless we use that a flag that we used before and here it is okay so now to test that it's oh <laughs> to test that it's human readable we're going to use the um, file command so we're going to use that on dot file 2 and see that yes it is ascii text with very long lines which that's a different little bit um, so it'd be interesting to see what happens when we c concatenate this file and see what the um, the contents is but the other thing as well is this non-executable uh, so to do that we're going to have to look at the permissions of the uh, of the file now we we look at the permissions with the ls command the ls command has um, an l flag which is long long sort of format um, which I'll show you now so when when you do the um, the flags if they don't require a parameter after them then you can kind of like smush them all together and just have them under one flag like so if I want to do the, the all flag but also the long listing um, flag I can just do this or I could do this um, or I could do this you know it doesn't matter you, any of these work just the same uh, but we'll do it just like this for now and hit enter and so now what it does is it gives us this extra information on all the files in this in this particular directory we have this stuff which is the permissions for the file um, this stuff I don't know these numbers actually here I'm not too familiar with these numbers but this this is the owner of the file this is the group that it belongs to this is the size and I guess this is the the creation or the modified date now I talk about groups and owners and things another time but but as you can see it's the permissions we're going to want to look at here to see if it's not executable now the permissions if they start with a D that means it's a directory which this dot and the double dot is but then there's nine more bits after that and they, they, they go rwx, rwx, rwx and what they mean is the first three bits correspond to the owner of the file the second three bits correspond to the group of the file and the last three bits correspond to like any any user on the system um, if, it, if there's an r there it means that that is readable to that particular um, person so for instance with the file2 um, dot this one here owner can read it and the owner can write to it but the owner can't execute because there's no X here similarly the group can read it can't write to it and can't execute it because the, the, the W and the X are hyphened out here and the anyone else on the system just can't do anything right they can't read it um, or write to it or execute it now thankfully because we're bandit 5 our use as bandit 5 we belong to that group so we're one of the people that can read it which means when we use the cat command on it we can read it but as you can see there's no X's here so it's not executable no one can execute this file so it fits the the non-executable criteria as well so that's everything we need to know really we can just go ahead and use the cat command um, and it gets us this this uh, password and a load of just empty space uh, which I don't know why that's put there, maybe to make the size of the file a certain number, but either way, we've got the uh, we've got the file here, so that's um, the password, sorry, so that's brilliant. Uh, I hope that all made sense, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.